your chakra is all like a disalignment, man. You need to reassemble your inner cosmos and the such like, man. You need to take a chill pill and enjoy the nature and the power and the and the feet you need to, to feel the universe on your skin, man. Oh, dude, I just saw a hog that went mad. And dude, it, and dude. Oh, dude, I can feel a SC2 over there. Oh, dude, I can. You know what, dude? I can feel it too. It's like our minds are linked and are like one or something. And we can actually perceive uh, the reality in its truest form, my man. Dude, I feel like we should be stopping this right now and just talking like normal. Yeah, you should. <laughs> Peace and love, man. Peace and love. But yes, okay. So, um, we like this episode. Well, well, to me personally, this was 100% fantastic. I have absolutely no problem with it. Aside for one little small detail that if you put into perspective, kind of ruins everything. And that detail is, where in the heck is Princess Luna? Doing her I job. asked this myself. <laughs> because, you know... Uh, this looking is, at the time. Okay, this is... Because uh, the book of this episode takes place in one gigantic social gathering that includes a lot of characters from the main cast. And logically speaking, Princess Luna should have been there. Especially since it's night. That makes this episode perfect. For yeah. me, at least. But other, than, but other than that, I really, really totally enjoyed it, this episode. <laughs> <laughs> I, to I like totally dug it. Man, this episode is all it's all about peace and love between friends, man. Please stop that. <laughs> I, I will never. <laughs> I do not like this kind of talking. No, I don't oh, either. It's a dude. it's a cliche. I know it's a cliche, but it, you know, for but it's still a funny cliche to me personally. <laughs> I, I I have I have a soft spot for the hippie stereotypes sometimes, especially if you put it into good use like they did in this episode. But uh, let's go in order because there's yeah. a lot to talk. There's a lot to talk about this episode, and also I'd say that so far it is one of the most. Uh, Solid from both a structural standpoint and pacing standpoint. So we should go. Uh, uh, we should talk about it step by step. <laughs> you know. Yes. Tuesday should, tea. <laughs> yes, we should approach this episode by degree. Yes, we should. We should all have Tuesday tea, which is Saturday night tea right now for us free. <laughs> oh, the tea! I sure hope it's green tea. If you know what I'm saying. Uh, okay. Okay. That's... I think I do, but I don't want to. <laughs> oh come on! Uh, don't knock it till you try it, man. So, so uh, yeah. premise. So premise. Uh, this card gets jelly because Fluttershy has another jelly. Jelly is a nice choice of words. <laughs> jelly. <laughs> you know, as jelly as a spirit of chaos can get, which is, uh, which can be dangerous. But anyway, he gets jelly because Fluttershy met a new friend that he didn't know about it. So, and he, and since he's completely still kind of inexperienced with the whole multiple friends thing, she immediately thinks that she is replacing him with this new tree hugger pony person. That's her name, folks. Tree hugger. And, she, and that's what yeah. she, and that's what she is in a nutshell. <laughs> tree hugger. Oh yes, nope. she, she, she is one with the... nature and everything. And no wonder Father hey. no, no wonder Father Shai would go insta friends with her. <laughs> yeah, Father Shai is a tree. <laughs> uh, oh that, come on. That, you know, S okay, SC2, uh, this this sounds completely wrong for two reasons. One, yes, uh, one, one people are uh, are going to ship those two together. Oh, God, They're no. They're already doing it. Obvious, obviously, it. they already did. And also, people already shipped Father Shy with the Bloomberg tree. 
so okay. yeah so yes so let's not touch that button oh i'll touch another button then fan fiction writers you you are going to write a discord and spike fan fiction i know this